to me, out of all these great pictures, this has got to be one of the classics. You are pushing your own car to the grid at Monaco. Somehow I just can't see Schumacher or Vettel doing that. How did you end Different up being... Different days. How, but you were the only guy pushing, and this poor guy felt sorry for you, this Goodyear guy, and he's going to help you. With that car, <clears throat> we qualified sixth, and I was already third after about four laps. And then the uh, a little tooth belt driving the metering unit broke. Okay, here's my, here, this is my Dan Gurney question for the ages. Had you not had, if you'd have had the, the Coventry Climax or the, or the Cosworth that Jimmy had, if you'd, have, if you'd have not had your own engines, all, and I'm talking about when you went with stock blocks at Indy or you had your own Gurney Westlakes in Formula One, because you were all American and it was your, you're going to do it your way and stuff, do you ever stop and think, how many races you might have won? You, you had as bad luck mechanically as anybody that ever drove a race car. Do you well, think about how many? we had the smallest budget, by the way. Those two are related. Right, right. Yeah. But was there ever a time when you thought, oh, maybe I'll just go status quo here and jump um, in and start winning races? But I don't think you thought that way. Um, no, yeah, you're right. I, I, we thought of it, but it, beyond uh, all the things that... Uh, uh, there was still a great potential with this car. Uh, what we needed was uh, another uh, season of funding and uh, didn't get it. The notoriety that, that you brought to the United States for winning Formula One races and people knew about Formula One in the United States because of Dan Gurney, I, it's amazing to me more companies didn't want to jump on and get behind and say, hey, well, we you know, somehow we managed to... Uh, Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, yeah. Uh, it's uh, I, mostly my fault, but uh, I would have... How so? Had we had someone that could... Uh, Go out and sell it? Yeah. Cause you well, you were too you busy building... Both. No, That's you right. were building cars. I'm just saying, because you did do it your own way, and because you'll be the only American that ever won a Formula One race driving his own car, it all somehow makes it, I think that's probably even better than maybe being a world champion or maybe winning well, certainly. seven races or whatever certainly. one a year. Do you Proud think so? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Because how many times? In the, in the end, uh, they knew we were there. <laughs> yes, they did. And we're gonna There's give a you picture in here of uh, our motorhome. Your motorhome? Yeah. Okay. You, you have to look at it there. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Look, that's motorhome of Grand Prix drivers in the 60s. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that's a classic. So yeah, nah. did that tow the car, Dan? Yeah. Was that also the car transporter? Yes, yeah. So that was hospitality, too. That was everything. Hospitality was in the cab. That was the, uh, that was everything. Changing your, changing in your driver's suit and that's your, it. and your, and your, and your that's my plush digs. Private uh, rig there, yeah. I like that.